A Peoria man is accused of killing a Valley mother in a wrong way crash. He was sentenced to two decades behind bars. 12 News journalist Chase Golightly was in the courtroom today for the emotional testimony before a Pinal County judge handed down the sentence. My favorite thing about Liz is her laugh and her smile. A daughter, mother, and wife. Elizabeth McAloon had just turned 28 and was driving with her seven-year-old daughter when she was in a reckless crash that ended her life. I felt sick to my stomach. My legs wouldn't hold me up, and all I could ask was why. Her mother, Kimberly Surrett, talking about the day that changed her family forever. I constantly think about how my daughter died alone without me by her side. I no longer look at life the same way. My goals and my desires are gone, and I am empty. It happened back in January. McAloon and her daughter were driving back from church on the U.S. 60 in Apache Junction when prosecutors say 38-year-old Adam Parker was driving drunk at more than three times the legal limit and into oncoming traffic when he hit McAloon. She died from her injuries. Her daughter survived but was seriously hurt. It was not a mistake nor an accident, but a choice that has turn, torn our family's lives apart forever. McAloon's aunt Stephanie Chandler also speaking during Friday's sentencing. My heart aches every single day when I think of how her two children no longer have their mother. Parker was charged with second degree murder and aggravated assault, crimes he pleaded guilty to. I not only scarred your family forever, I embarrassed, shamed, and tore apart my own. I will, <clears throat> I will forever live in guilt and regret for what I've done to all of you. The victim's family calling on the judge to give Parker the maximum sentence. He agreed. This guilt will forever haunt me and I will spend the rest of my life trying to find a way to pay my rep repentance. From the bottom of my heart, I am truly sorry. The hearing lasted about two hours and at the very end, the judge sentenced Parker to 20 years in prison. We are adjourned on this matter. Thank you. Chase Golightly, 12 News.